tonight at Cage Match, your champions, Dirkus and Fernie, take on a brand new challenger, John Velvet. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So ready. I'm ready. Tonight at Cage Match, Dirkus and Fernie go for their 12th win, but tonight they face a very tough challenger, John Velvet, a Herald team at the UCB Theater who performs regularly on Monday nights. This is going to be a very tough competition tonight for our champions. Let's check them out the audience and see who their favorite is tonight. Whoever's well, the best improvising team tonight, I'll vote for it. I like John Velvet. They're the underdog. I feel I've always root for the little guy. I saw Velvet last week and they were awesome. Like John Velvet? So like the first name of a man, the second name of a bunny? Dirkus and Fernie. I like them, they're good. They're awesome. It's like, it's perfection almost. And they support each other well. Dominic is pretty awesome. They kind of are in each other's brains. I'd like to be in someone's brain, but I'm not currently. Um, I have a girlfriend, but she won't let me. I don't know what's going on inside there. Here we go. In tonight's competition, your challengers, John Velvet, will be going first, followed by your champions, Dirkus and Fernie. Now, let's check in with some show highlights and see who won the show tonight. You know what's funny about you Canadians? You talk, you use, like, words about being emotional without being emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, your, uh, your husband's dead. <laughs> from a family of 20 kids. I don't want that. All right, kids. Uh. <laughs> Seven is the amount of time you do it. To sex is fun. Yeah, sex to sex is fun. I'm sorry, you said you had sex with your husband before? Well... Because you're paralyzed from the yes. waist down. Okay. <laughs> Neck infection. Really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you brought that. <laughs> it's a tiny piano. I think it's not. <laughs> Apartheid. Apartheid. Uh, you fucking honky. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. <laughs> I want to get into this. Of course you're not racist. You have no me you have no reason to be. Okay, you're the dominant fucking culture. If you want to call it a fucking culture, I'm Puerto culture. Rican. What's that? My bad. <laughs> I would love to live next to a wacky racist. <laughs> I read your new book, Wacky Racist. Yeah. No swearing. No swearing. That's right. Just a lot of uncomfortable terms. <laughs> it's kind of in a way like he'll do them all. He's juggling and he'll just be like. Boom, 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 and then Why is he juggling? Because he's a wacky dog. Don't focus just on the racism. Focus on the wacky dog. He's gonna juggle. He's gonna have, you know, gummy worms for breakfast. But then he's also gonna say spickle. Oh. <laughs> Next week, to face a brand new challenger, Ruben Starship will be Dirkus and Bernie! Dirkus and Bernie, do it again. That's a dozen wins for your UCB cage match. Champions, all right. How did they do it? Let's check in with the Tim Resident of Improv, Johnny Swartzbein, in the Improv Locker Room. Thanks, Jason. What we had here was classic tale of funny versus funny. We had our challenger John Velvet coming up first, and they got suggestion of racism, which they used in the first scene, which was a 16th birthday party present competition. Then they went to an emotionless Canadian, a widow's finding themselves, and then into a paralyzed wife's sex tagger. We saw an anti-white racist. We saw Jacob Womack pulling up his improv, his classic improv character, Officer Sheboygan. We had a moonlighting run, and they ended it all with some quilting some ducks into a quilt move. It was great set by our challenge. Then we had our champions, Dirk and Freddy, coming up second, and they got suggestion of Fahrenheit, which they used in the first scene, which was a mono scene, which was a boyfriend and a girlfriend sitting on their porch talking about their lives and relationship. Then they did tag runs from that mono scene in this order. A family of 20 kids, a non roadside eye exam, cursing a, a cursing badger children's book pitch meeting, shittiest gambling in the world into a super short gambling advice guy in a bathroom, a bungee cord frat murder, stealing a rubber bullet gun from a cop, and they ended it all with a wacky racist dog children's book pitch meeting. What happened in the end? Our champions, Dirk and Fernie, come back next week. For UCBLA Cage Match, I'm Jenny Schwartz, and reminding you that anything can happen in a cage match. Nobody says it like Johnny. Now next week, your champions, Dirkus and Fernie, with 12 wins, have to face maybe their toughest competition yet, Ruben Starship. They are here for a battle, a starship battle, and they are here to challenge your champions, Dirkus and Fernie. Will they be able to make it to a baker's dozen win? 
I don't know, but next week is the Baker's Dozen Challenge, all right? You're going to want to make reservations for this show. It's next Wednesday night at 11 p.m. at the UCB Theater. It's going to be great. It's going to be a battle. It's going to be something you're not going to want to miss, so make your reservations now. If you want to check out my monologue from tonight or see more highlights from these guys' show, all right? We're putting a full video together of highlights from their show. You can watch it. Those links are right down below, okay? So click on them. You go see them. You'll see more improv, all right? Now, until next week, keep on rocking. <laughs>